Hello everyone, you have landed on the channel of the Ebb Fats, a Championship Manager 2001-2002 channel. Uh, welcome back if you've been with us before, welcome along if this is your first time. Um, if I can ask you to please like this video, share this video with people you think may be interested, comment below for things that you might want to see on the channel, and please do subscribe to that channel uh, for more content. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a good thing in the game and that is attributes of players and the key attributes for each particular position, whether that be goalkeeper, defence, midfield or forward. Uh, we'll be looking at the attributes that I personally think are the best ones to look for. Um, I'm not going to say what I'm going to tell you is gospel and what you should be looking for completely, but that's what I look for. Um, and it stood me in good stead so far. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so, as you can see, I've chosen my team, Newcastle United, and we are loaded up today on the uh, April 2022 database. So, you'll be seeing up to date players with up to date values. Um, and uh, yeah, so you'll be seeing higher figures than you're used to, maybe up to 30, 40, 50 million pounds for some of the players. Um, and they will be players from today. So Newcastle United, as you can see here, we'll have Carl Darlow and Martin Dubravka in goal. And we'll have the squad from April 2022. So without further ado, what I personally do is enter the attributes into the game and then save them as a particular search so what i will show you now is obviously the player and staff search screen everyone is in 25,000 players that are famous in my region um, what we'll be looking at is how to narrow those down to a particular type of player that you want to be looking for so as i said what i will do is save my settings so I will load up the first ones and we might as well start with the goalkeepers so I'll show you what I look for in a goalkeeper and these are those attributes so the key ones are, are up at 15 that's handling for me and then the other ones around it which will help you find a top quality player I've got acceleration agility jumping, marking, pace, position, strength, passing, and reflexes. Now, not all of those are key, um, and we'll look at that as we go into different players and different uh, positions. So for example, for goalkeepers passing, um, I've got in there, it's a bit of a take it or leave it for me really. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, Sometimes you find that um, regardless of how high the passing stat is, your goalkeeper will not make passes or will not complete passes. So it may be worthless. So we'll look at this at the moment. What I will say as well is you'll see as we go through, I've got handling at 15. That's probably one of my um, upper key ones. That's why it starts higher. Um, but these are all kind of changeable. So if I wanted to up agility to 15 and reflexes to 15 to find kind of the best of the best and see if they're available, then I can do that. So nine different attributes all in there. So that will give me at the moment 104 goalkeepers. Some we will know, obviously, Thibaut Courtois, Alisson, Oblak, Edison, Donnarumma, the ones that we would expect to see and then other players that we know De Gea, Chesney, uh, Dean Henderson's in there, Matt Ryan's in there and we go down and down and down until page 10 and you've got a 50,000 pound Russian goalkeeper who fits the attributes for what I think is a decent goalkeeper. So what you could do, as I mentioned there, you could up the agility to 15. You could up the reflexes to 15. And then search again. Now we're down to 67 players. You could go back in it again and say, okay, so maybe you need a bit of strength. Add that in. 
33 players. So the cheapest of them now is 110,000. Giuseppe Seppe, oh, sorry, Luigi Seppe. Um, he'll be a, a Palmer man, I'd imagine, at some point, yes. So this allows us to do whatever we want. But what I would say is the nine key attributes I look for for a goalkeeper. Acceleration, agility, handling, jumping, pace, passing, positioning, reflexes and strength. And then you can just play with them however you will to find players that fit your transfer budget um, or fit players that are interested in actually joining you. Next ones we can look at are, let's go to fullbacks. And what I've saved them as is actually wingbacks. So when I play um, with uh, wide men in the defence, I normally look for a kind of wingback type player as opposed to a fullback. Uh, let's click it. So the players that I look at have these key attributes. So the 15s you'll see are creativity and crossing. I like them to get forward. Dribbling, I like them to get forward. Pace, I like them to be able to get forward, but also be able to get back if they need to. They're the 15s and the 10s. Acceleration, determination, heading, jumping, stamina, strength, and teamwork. Now, ideally, I would look for a, a stamina at 15, so I know he's going to last that 90 minutes and he's got the energy to get up and down as I need him. So I'll up that to 15 for this and then have a search. And that shows that there is just one that fits that bill, and that is Emerson Royale. 22 year old, already at Spurs, already worth a fair chunk of change. So, because there's only one, what you can do now is, again, either just fiddle with your attributes that you've got so you can take stamina down to 10 again doesn't change um, you could take one of the 15s down or what I tend to do is just remove one of the matches so if I take the matches down to 10 out of 11 what the game will now do is search for players that match 10 of these attributes so it may well be that there's a player out there that fits uh, 10 of them apart from crossing. He will then show in your search results. There may be one who matches 10 but does match crossing but doesn't match creativity. He will still show in those search results. So, there we are. So players that match 10 of the 11 attributes that we've chosen are now listed. And we've got the big names. We've got Trent, we've got Davies, Hakimi, Robertson, Alaba... Cancelo, all the big names that you would expect in those wingback positions and a few that you might not. Um, Giovanni Di Lorenzo, Simon Falter, great signing on this database by the way if you can get him away um, from Victoria. So you see how I'm doing it, so obviously Danny Alves is at Barca, he probably won't want to leave there, you probably won't want him as he's 38, but if you're at a side that doesn't have 214 million pounds in its transfer kitty, you've got pennies, like six numbers, hundreds of thousands as opposed to millions, what you can do is again take another one off, and you get to nine. You've now got five pages, you've also got a young Belgian Chilean right back who has numbers in the right places. He can accelerate. He's got agility. Um, his crossing is 16, very good. Determination, good. Dribbling, good. Pace, good. Tackling, not so good. That's where he's lacking. Positioning is one of the ones that hasn't been countered in that 15. Yeah, so that makes sense. On to the next position, we've got central defenders. So there are a number of central defenders that will fit the attributes that I use. So I look for marking at 15, stamina at 15, tackling at 15. The others that I start at, at 10, 
heading, jumping, pace, positioning, strength. So there could be others you could add to this, obviously. If you want a ball playing centre back, you can add passing. Um, positioning is known as a key attribute for central defenders, so you get up that to 15. Determination is always good in a player, so you get up that maybe to 15 and then search. So we're still at nine players. We've got the big names Ruben Diaz, De Ligt, Marquinhos, Bastoni, Militao, those kind of names. We go to the bottom end of the scale. We've got Lovren, we've got Godin, we've got Chiellini, all older players. Um, but you may be able to find a young starlet in there. Philippe Helander at Rangers looks okay. We've got uh, Barashile at Monaco. So he will grow into um, a star. Yeah, so as you've still got nine players, you can think to yourself, right, I've got my 200 plus uh, balance, so let's up it. Let's have someone who's better at heading, up that to 15. Let's see someone who's got a bit of pace, up that to 15. With pace, you want strength, up that to 15. So it's still the same 10 attributes, you've just upped that score. We're down to four pages now. And we have names that we'll know. Ramos is on there. Malone, uh, Manolas, sorry. Schlotterberg, Issa Diop at West Ham. There are names that you know. So if you're a big club like Newcastle now, you could do that. If you are not, if you're starting in the lower leagues or a smaller league or something like that, again, you can narrow down, let's say seven out of the 10. And then you could say, I don't know, give me all the ones that are under 21, who may grow into a stronger player that can then fit later eight, nine, 10 of those attributes. And you've got a Russian who looks okay at 20 already. Um, a Vital, a Brazilian, looks like a decent player. Deviv definitely becomes a good player. Yeah, so 19 year olds that they're out on loan. Portuguese. Quebec, we know of Quebec in, in England. Todibo, French international. Yeah, Sven Botman. So that might be someone that I would target as Newcastle manager to maybe follow real life. Botman's in at seven and a half. You probably have to pay a fair chunk more than that for him. But he's got things in the right places already. Maybe if his technique goes up a bit. Maybe if his positioning goes up a bit, he fills out that 8th, 9th and 10th attribute. Yeah. Um, so that's defence. Into midfield. We'll start with DMC. Similar kind of attributes to a centre-back, really, because they do um, a lot of the same job. There's 11 that we look at here, the 15s being marking, passing and tackling, the 10s, acceleration, determination, heading, jumping, pace, stamina, strength and teamwork. Again, I'd probably look to up stamina to 15 for your DMC, strength may want to go to 15 for your DMC, and then you search. So we've got six players there. Down to Idrissa Gay, Toussaint, not a man who gets mentioned a lot on these databases, but a very good defensive midfielder, if you can get him away from Herta. Again, you can drop these, so now we're searching for just 9 of the 11, and we're up to 9 pages of players. We've even got a couple of players without a club not the right side of 30 but they could do you a job um, in the short term another former Newcastle player here Mehdi Abid um, probably not right for Newcastle where they are now but if you're looking maybe mid-championship club um, 
bit lower. Um, bottom half of Serie A, uh, La Liga, something like that. You'd be able to bring him in under a million pounds. Uh, no work permit if you're in England because he's got French as a second nationality. Yeah, so that's those type of players. Uh, central midfield is next. Again, like centre backs, um, you can find a number of them. Um, so where I start on 15, so the key key attributes into centre midfield is dribbling, is passing, is stamina, is technique, and the tens, acceleration, determination, heading, jumping, pace, strength, and teamwork. So 11 separate attributes at different figures, either 15 or 10, but they're playable. We've already got six pages of central midfielders. Um, so we could say, OK, we want my centre midfielder to head the ball a bit more. That takes us down to just three players. Um, Andre Gomez, very good. Jude Bellingham, obviously a very good player. If you're in a, a lower league, maybe take that down to eight. Got 50 pages worth then. Three of them start on freeze. Freddy Guerin, of course, what a player. Rest in peace, that man. 36 year old former Brazilian internationals, Moroccan internationals. And then you've got players from smaller clubs. They're all coming through old. Just have a look. These two are gone. They're obviously uh, going up into uh, big clubs, but why not sign up a, a Turkmenistani? If you could get a work permit for him, or in a country without a work permit, he'll run all day, takes a mean corner, big matches, and he could grow. Doesn't look great at the moment, but give him a year of first team football maybe. He could be a man, could be worth that £55,000 that you spend on him. Charlie Savage, we know who he is, Robbie Savage's son, so he set out pretty well. Maybe you're a Welsh side, maybe you're a conference side. Maybe you could pick up Charlie Savage on loan maybe, or if you've got a hundred grand in your, in your coffers, could be the man to look at. Uh, wingers is next. And uh, a number of wingers that come up already. So there's nine players that fit all the attributes listed here. So creativity, crossing, dribbling, pace, all at 15 for me. Acceleration at 10, along with determination, heading, jumping, strength. Uh, stamina and teamwork. If you want a wider field to look at, maybe search for 10 of the 11, and then you're up to 8 pages of players. Sabine Marino, under 30, could do a job for someone somewhere. There's Falter again, Messi shows up. Number of players out on loan. Chiquinho uh, loaned from Benfica into Turkey. Yeah. So, Amer uh, Americans attacking midfields centrals next. AMCs. So we've got two pages already of players that are fitting the bill that I look at. Thirteen different attributes here. Uh, creativity, dribbling, long shots off the ball, passing all at 15, and the ones at 10, acceleration, determination, heading, jumping, pace, stamina, strength, and teamwork. So two pages, if you wanted to narrow down that two pages, hmm, what do I want my AMC to do a bit more of? A bit more teamwork? Narrows it even more. Um, could he have more stamina? Yes, he could. Um, could his determination go up? 
seven players. Um, let's see if he accelerates a little more. Six players. So you see what I mean? It just down and down and down. But then if you wanted to say up heading up them all to 15, you could. Yeah, so you're looking at 13 of them. Obviously no one shows up, no one's that good. But if you took three of them out, maybe, you've got two pages of players that fit a particular bill. Um, if you can't afford the 14 million that's at the lowest, you could go to someone like a Dimitri Payet. Three million pounds. You can narrow it down to players who are under 21. Jakob Drozd is 18, listed as a DMC, but comes up and uh, has all the attributes for me for a decent attacking midfielder. So tackling four, not great for me for a, for a DMC, but he's got all the attributes for Let's say he's got seven of the key attributes that I look for for an AMC. Gravenberch, DMC. Could be a superb attacking midfielder, in my opinion. Yeah. The final one we look at is obviously striker. So, Paolo Dybala, Luis Diaz, Amin Guiri, and Chimi Avila all you fit the description of the perfect striker for me and those attributes um, that I look for. Finishing long shots and pace, all at 15, and all these others at 10. Creativity, crossing, dribbling, flair, heading, jumping, off the ball, pace, per, sorry, passing, and set pieces so off the ball is a good one for a striker we up that to 15 those four are still there if we take off one brings up a whole raft of other strikers anyone ever heard of Branimir Hrogota who plays for Guertha, Guertha Firth a Swede left only looks like a top striker to me play him as the AMC maybe, play him on the right side of midfield, cutting in left foot, having shots, looks like a Swedish iron robin. Yeah, so those are the attributes that I personally look for in a player. Um, I hope that has helped someone, um, if it has please do drop me a like, um, please do subscribe to the channel, please do share with people. Um, that are also looking to have a, a new way of signing players, not just the same old players. Um, if you're looking at ODB, that you know do jobs. If you're looking for uh, a different type of player, um, looking to use a player for the first time, have a look at the attributes that I've listed down um, and see if they can do anything for you. Um, please do drop me some comments in the comments section down below. Let me know if there's anything you want to see filmed um, recorded um, and i will look to be able to do that but until next time let's continue keeping the game alive see you guys